Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita. In today's video, we are going to study the valuation of share. This is unit number 4 in the subject Corporate Accounting class SYBCOM. So in this video or in this lecture, we are going to study the introduction part of valuation of shares. So let's start the session. Now in this lecture, we are going to study the shares, concept of valuation, then methods of valuation of shares. There are three methods of valuation of shares. First is net assets method, yield based method, then fair value method. Fair value method is the average of net asset method and yield basis method. So one by one, we are going to study in this lecture now first introduction of shares now what is share now the total share capital the total share capital of a company is divided into a number of small unit of equal part is called share so in short what is share share is a part of share capital now for example the total share capital of a company is 50,000 now this 50,000 is divided into 5,000 shares and each share value is 10 rupees so this 5,000 of shares and it is divide uh, the price of each share is 10 rupees so that is called as share so 5,000 multiply by 10 we will get 50,000 okay so uh, share means what share or the share capital of a company is divided into a number of small units of equal value is called shares next is what concept of valuation of share now what do you mean by valuation now first try to understand value value means what value means a price for a item or for a particular thing or product goods or service so value means what a price for a goods or service for a particular product or for any particular thing next is what is valuation valuation is what valuation means an act valuation means what an act or process of assessing value or price of the share so valuation of share means determination of fair value of shares shown in the balance sheet so in short valuation of share means what to find out the actual value of the shares is it is called as valuation of share it is a critical examination of the value of share capital so valuation of share through valuation of share we get the correctness of the value of a share what is the actual value of a particular share we get we can uh, find out by the valuation of shares now there are three methods to value the shares. So methods of valuation of shares are first is net asset method, then yield basis method and third is fair value method. Fair value method is what? Average of net asset method and yield basis method. So on this three basis, we uh, do the valuation of the share net asset method then yield basis method fair value method now first method is what net asset method so what is net asset method so in this method the valuation is made on the basis of the asset of the company so in net asset method the valuation of share is made or is done on the basis of what asset of the company so net asset method is also called as 
एसिड बेसिस और एसिड बैकिंग मेथड नेट एसिड मेथड इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज वॉट एसिड बेसिस और एसिड बैकिंग मेथड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज द शेयर आर वैल्यूड ओके इन नेट एसिड मेथड द शेयर आर वैल्यूड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रियल इंटरनल वैल्यू इट इज वैल्यूड ऑन वॉट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रियल इंटरनल वैल्यू ऑफ द एसेट ऑफ द कंपनी हेन्स इट इज टर्म्ड एज हेन्स इट इज टर्म्ड एज इंटरेस्टिक वैल्यू मेथड or real value basis method now there are steps to calculate net asset method now there are total three steps which you have to follow to calculate or in order to get net asset method first is computation of total net asset second step is computation of funds available for equity shareholders and third is computation of intrinsic value of each equity share so three steps you have to follow in order to get net asset method so steps to calculate net asset method first step is computation of what total asset so you have to calculate all the net assets so how you will calculate total assets so this total asset should be what revalued value okay all the assets should be revalued less total outside liabilities except what capital and reserve even include the debentures also so total asset these assets are revalued less total of outside liabilities we will get what total net asset after getting total net asset second step is computation means calculation of funds available for equity shareholders so how to find computation of funds available for equity shareholders total net asset which we got in step 1 less preference share capital so total net asset minus preference share capital we will get funds available for equity shareholders okay after getting the funds available for equity shareholder the third step is computation of intrinsic value of each equity share so funds available for equity shareholder divided by number of equity share so these are the three steps we have to take into the consideration in order to get the net asset method i will repeat again first step is to calculate total net asset whatever value we get in the total net asset less it with preference share capital which we will get the funds available for equity share uh, holders after getting funds available for equity share uh, holders divided by number of equity shares we will get intrinsic value of each equity share so in in this way we can get the net asset method now next uh, method is what yield basis method okay yield basis method now yield basis method is calculated on two basis first is on profit basis and second is on dividend basis in usually in examination uh, yield basis method is calculated on profit basis okay so in uh, on the basis of profit basis yield basis is calculated in four steps so first step is computation of average accepted future profit second step is computation of maintainable profit third step is computation of capitalized value of maintainable profit fourth step is computation of yield value of each equity shares 
so in this four steps we can get the yield me uh, basis method so first step is what C computation of average accepted future value so how to find the average accepted future value by total profit divided by number of years second after getting the average accepted future profit second step is what calculate maintainable profit so maintainable profit is calculated by average profit less percentage transfer to reserve is equals to what we get maintainable profit third step is computation of capitalized value of maintainable profit so this is calculated by maintainable profit upon or divided by normal rate of return multiply by 100 so this is the formula to calculate capitalized value of maintainable profit fourth step is computation of yield value of equity shares so this is uh, to find yield value of equity shares we use this formula that is capitalized value of profit divided by number of equity shares so in this four steps the yield me base method is basis method is calculated now last method is fair value method so to cal steps to calculate fair value method so if the fair value method is very uh, simple it is what it is the average of net asset method and yield basis method so the formula is intrinsic value plus yield value divided by 2 so in order to find the fair value method first of all you have to find the net asset method and then find yield basis method then add both the values and divided by 2 that is what average of net asset method and yield basis method so in examination either they will ask you to find only net asset method so if in examination they have asked to calculate only net uh, means uh, net asset method so you will follow this three steps and if in exam or uh, in example they have asked find the valuation of shares by yield basis method you will only follow this four steps and if in examination they have asked you to find the valuation of shares by fair value method so in fair value method you have to first find the net asset method then second find the yield based method and then last you will get the fair value by taking the average of both the methods okay so in this are the methods of valuation of shares thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe my youtube channel like the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification thank you